wagwan guys wagwan welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna show you how i accomplish this beautiful red glittery eyes for valentine's day now i just want to let you guys know that 98 percent of the products that i use for this tutorial they are drugstore products and these are affordable products because i didn't want to you know use anything that's more on the high end side i wanted to show you guys that you can create bomb ass looks with drugstore products you know you don't always have to um jump for the high end stuff because sometimes girl i'm telling you some of them high end stuff don't do shit okay i'm gonna just keep it real yeah so i am going to go ahead and um clean up my brows now many people always ask me oh um you you make it look so easy well honestly <laughs> i don't do a lot with my brows my brows are naturally full so i just tend to mess with the arch and the tail area so i just fill it in and i'm just cleaning up the entire brow so the concealer that i'm using is my la girl fawn concealer i've been you know using this concealer many times on my channel i tend to use these more myself than in my kit for some strange reason i don't know why but i'm also going to use it as a base so the eyeshadows that i decided to use for this tutorial they are mainly from juvia's place now if you have not heard of juvia's place girl i don't know what the hell you are doing with your life okay but before i go in with the palette i am going to use this maybelline pour uh, minimizing um, eraser now I use this as like a primer. I don't know. I was just trying something out new. And this technique here that you actually see that I'm doing with the powder. This is my airspun powder. Um, the translucent powder. And this is the first time that I'm actually using it to um, lock in the oils. Now, a lot of people on YouTube I've seen, you know, done this. And this is my first time. It wasn't so bad. I think I'm going to try it again and wear my makeup for um, a longer time. Because I only had it on for... I think it was five hours so i really want to get the whole eight to ten hours you know out of doing it this way and i don't know if you guys know that i do have oily skin so that's the reason for me doing that if you have dry skin i would not recommend you doing that at all so i'm using two foundations here to give me the perfect shade i love to mix my foundations because i can never find one true foundation wait no that's a lie I do have one foundation that I use, which is from uh, Makeup Forever. If you're interested, if you're my shade or you want to try out something that I'm using, I have all the details listed below. So now I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my face and then I'm going to contour now. Like I said before, I did um, use the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. So I love to use this to highlight and to just clean up anything. Now the contour um color that i'm using is chocolate by anastasia now i hardly when i say hardly i hardly um do all this extra stuff because i just really love the soft contour look now when you look at my face yeah it, 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 i mean you can't see any lines or any of that stuff i just love the soft blended look okay that's just me um so i like to have this concealer dry a little bit before i go in and work with it and i'm just gonna go ahead and blend now this requires a ton of blending guys i love to blend out not everything but <laughs> my foundation and concealer like i just have i just love the way it looks on me and also on my clients so like i said this requires tons of blending you know like you just blending off your entire wrist yeah yeah yep Then I'm gonna go ahead and set it now. The powder that I'm setting with it's a yellow um, banana powder. Now I really, really, really love any yellow powder. Like I have golden undertone, so I tend to love to use you know powders that has that um, color or undertone to it that works well with that undertone. I'm sorry. So 
I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly put this on and then I'm gonna brush it off okay I don't like to do the whole baking stuff and if I tend to bake it would just be a little bit underneath my eyes that's if I'm working with glitter yes or any you know heavy eyeshadows that tend to follow a lot okay now comment below and let me know do you guys highlight and contour do you want me to do a tutorial on highlighting and contour let me know I'd love to know below okay all right, so like I said, I'm just blending away. All right, here comes the fun part. So I'm going to be taking the Juvia's Place palette. I think it's a Nubian too. I will provide it below. And I'm gonna take the, it's like a orangey red eyeshadow color to um, use it as a transition color. And I'm just going to, you know, blend, blend, blend this all out. Like I said, this is like the transition color that I'm using. Now, if you do not have this palette, you do not have to go out and break the bank and get it. If you have a orangish, brownish you know um brick looking eyeshadow color you can use this i tend to want it to stick more to reds the you know deep oranges and so forth um for this look so and the deeper colors and i'm just going to go in with a orange in the crease area and i'm going to blend it all the way in all right and then i'm also going to take a darker brown and i'm going to put it exactly on that darker orange in the crease area in my outer v area and i'm just gonna blend it all in with those two eyeshadow colors because i really want it to kind of look a little bit diffused but you can actually tell that it looks a little bit contoured if you know what i'm saying Alright, so now I'm going to use a eye base. Now you can use a concealer of your choice or an actual eye base. This is just going to allow the eyeshadows to have something to stick to. Now guys, let me tell you, this red that I'm using, you guys have had this palette for over three years and i cannot believe that it's still standing it's from bh cosmetics guys bh cosmetics this was like one of my very first eyeshadow palettes that i've ever purchased so i decided to use the red from that palette it was like a more true blood red and this is going to basically tie this entire look together now which is the glitter this is just red glitter you can use any red glitter from the party store from the dollar store girl wherever you find red glitter actually use it but you have to be careful if you decided to use arts and craft glitter okay just be very careful and mindful of what you're doing and of course you know i'm going to go ahead and line my um eyes my bottom lash area i for some reason i just love to use black underneath there than white or brown i just love the way it looks you know on me i guess it's like more of a personal preference and i'm going to be sure to blend that out with the same red i wanted to have that like you know diffused look also underneath there but not too much and of course i'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow just to um set the eyeliner that i did use um below there and like i said guys 98 percent of these products guys are drugstore products okay so you can use drugstore and a high end to create this but i'm telling you you don't have to break the bank okay you don't so for 2019 girl we are going to save our coins okay we're gonna be smart with spending money yes thumbs up if you definitely agree with saving some money so now this is what i was saying so two percent to know this um i had to do off camera like i had to i had to apply a lash off camera and i had to line my eyes off camera because if i didn't do that it would have taken up too many it would have taken up too much time when i said too much time it took me a while to do this and i'm gonna be honest guys i don't usually line 
I don't do all the wink stuff on myself. I don't do that. I only do that for special occasions. I ain't gonna lie because it's not really like my thing to do. Okay. So that eyeliner was the only expensive um, product that I used for this tutorial. So the highlighter guys is from Wet n Wild and I'll let you know what color it is below and also the lipstick that I decided to use at the very last minute it's a lipstick from MAC I'll let you guys know below you don't have to use this but I just wanted to try this out along with um, this lip gloss that I'm going to apply above it which is from NYX and of course you know I have to you know do my lashes and so forth let me know would you guys wrap this look for Valentine's Day I really want to know yeah okay so this lip gloss guys if you don't know about NYX butter gloss girl I don't know what you are doing but you need to try them out like when I say you need to this is like a staple lip gloss that you need to, that every girl needs to have in their personal or makeup kits okay I'm telling you that from a makeup artist you know um, perspective like you have to it's a staple piece okay yes all right so guys this is it i'm just gonna do my little outro and i'll see you guys next time bye guys did enjoy watching this tutorial i am watching this with you yes girl yes i'm watching this with you so if you did enjoy this tutorial please do not forget to thumbs up comment below and let me know what you guys think are you gonna recreate this or nah if you want something a little bit more toned down comment below and i could try my best to jump on here and provide another tutorial you know i just did this because i usually you know I'm always doing the neutrals and I just wanted to kind of like step out and do something a little bit different. So if you, like I said, want to see something more on the tone down this side, let me know and I will do so for you guys. Do not forget to subscribe and join the BFLM squad guys. Do not forget to check out my Instagram. I have two Instagram pages. I have a blogging account and I have a makeup artist portfolio account. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys until next time. Bye.